Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the mini map and how you can use it uh, to your advantage in PvP. You'll find the mini map is down in the right hand corner of your screen, but for our purposes today, I'm going to be looking at it in map view uh, simply so it's bigger and you know pings and things are a bit clearer. Now Pings are probably the, the most common thing you're going to see on the, on the mini-map. Um, and so I want to take you through those. Shift and left click will give you the default ping. Uh, now you can use that to say, you know, if you're on point and, you know, like you're trying to defend home and you get rushed, you know, you ping here and that, you know, draws your t the attention of your teammates to know that there's something going on there and hopefully they'll realise what you're trying to say. That generally means help me. Um, or you might alert them to, you know, a point that's come under, uh, become contested. And so you'll just use that general, that general ping there, shift, left click. Now, if you shift and left click and hold, you'll see there's other uh, little snazzy icons that you can use. Um, these three, this this one, the sword and the shield, you won't see them used a lot. Um, so I'm not gonna, like, I mean that one's, I mean in, in four years of playing PvP I've never seen these three used, right? So my guess here, since I've never seen them actually uh, used, is that that would be attack, defend, I don't know, honestly, I've never seen it used, I don't know what that might mean, but one that you will see used occasionally is the caution. So say, um, you know, you're heading uh, far and someone's seen like, you know, a lot of respawns and they might be going you know caution don't go there it's you know look out or maybe the team has just been wiped at mid or whatever that one comes up occasionally and sort of pay heed because it's really your teammates trying to to help you now the other thing you can do in map and with pings is you can draw you know we don't want you to be an artist here, but, you know, basically you're trying to, um, you know, somebody might be just going like, no, don't, don't go there. Or, you know, sometimes people use this for just being idiots, you know, but it is at your disposal to do your lovely squiggly lines or whatever you want to do. It's shift and hold down right click. Okay, so that's how you use that. While pings are important and learning how to use them, they form only a small part of how you use the minimap to your advantage during a match. Now, you may have noticed in videos or watched me on stream that while I'm standing on a point to cap it, I tend to move the camera around uh, because I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I don't get snuck up on if someone's trying to come and contest the point. Now, this is when you, where your minimap really starts to shine because your view as the player, you can only see what's in your immediate line of sight. However, the minimap, it doesn't only show you where your other teammates are, you can see what's within their line of sight. So, for example, um, I might have gone, I might be respawning and I'm trying to make that quick rotation decision of where do I need to go. Uh, I can see that I've got two teammates sitting on mid um, and there's only one enemy there. Uh, so I might look at going to say someone's already at far, I might go and plus one them. That this is how you start to learn how to rotate by constantly observing the mini map to see not only where your teammates are, but where the enemy is. Now, keep in mind, 
you can't just automatically see the enemy no matter where they are. They must be within the field of vision of one of your teammates. But if you use this anytime you're looking to go to another point uh, or, you know, you're trying to figure out what should my next rotation be, you need to be looking at that mini map and it will help you to decide where's the best place for you to go. Obviously, you can't play the entire match looking only at the mini map. Uh, in fights, you need to be, you know, concentrating on what you're doing, making sure you're timing your dodge rolls, uh, and you know, so doing the best you can to come out on top. And it's possible, you know, look, it's a habit you need to develop of making sure that no matter what you're doing, you know. Rattle off a few skills, look at the mini map. Rattle off a few more skills, look at the mini map. Especially during uh, team fights or uh, when you get heavily involved in like a one on one duel on point where, you know, you're just trying to stalemate them, keep them alive, and waiting for, you know, a teammate to come and plus one you. And in those situations, it can very easily, you just get so focused on the fight and you're not looking at the mini-map. And so the opposition may have gathered all this momentum and all, you know, all of a sudden your team's is dribbling one by one into mid, which is no good. Um, or they're kill feeding to, you know, a water alley on home. And it's just you have to all the time try and be aware of keeping an eye on the mini-map. Like it might be you're at mid, and there's a team fight going on there and you see all of a sudden that home has become contested. So you then need to make the decision of, okay, is it better for me to stay here at mid? We look like we're kind of dominating them. Okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to defend that point. And that's what you're looking for on the mini map is always those opportunities of where you're best to focus your attention. Um, it is... Easier said than done. Uh, if you watch me on stream or any of my stream highlight videos, you will, with somewhat degree of regularity, hear me say, I, I wasn't looking at the map, you know? And it's just, it's easy to get tunnel vision, especially if you're struggling to stay alive. But it's, you know, it's a skill that you need to develop. And if you develop it and you make it a habit of constantly keeping an eye, you know, just flicking across, having a quick look at the mini map, um, it will help you and it will make you a much better player. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or you'd like to suggest a topic for a future video, please leave that for me in the comments and make sure you subscribe so you'll know when I have a new video out. For now, stay slinky and I hope I see you in the mists.